see on there, well you probably can't, it's 6.28 so we've managed to get power in for this little area where we're sat here. We're basically just at the top of the stairs, there's Chance, goes down to the cellar down there and uh, 
we've set up a little area to have the CCTV console out of the way. We're going to put the monitor on the wall at the back of the bar, but basically everything else is going to be controlled down here. Uh, and it's out of sight, you see, people can't get to it. So I've done that today, made holes underneath here for all the cables to come through. We put cables up everywhere as well. And yeah, someone going up these stairs, there's a flats above us. Did the final tabletop, which you saw me installing earlier on, that's in place, sanded down to a 120 grit. We just need to get together some resin and fill all the gaps in there. But while I'm sat here, anyway, let me focus on the screen and I'll show you what we've got set up for the CCTV. It's freaking awesome. Okay, so if I just highlight this screen here, oh, that's camera six. Let's go from camera one then. You can see camera one, we've got eyes on some dodgy git outside. What are they up to? You can see the bar just in there, look. You can see whatever they're up to. What do you think you're doing a little bit of a drug deal? Eh, young lady? Oh, well, anyway, we've got her on camera. So this is um, outside of the pub, looking down the hill towards the old Idle Valley Tap, or now as it's called, The Tap or the crab. If we come across here and click across to camera two, there we go. We're looking the other way. So this is uh, the main entrance to our place. She stood in the middle between the two doors. And then we've got another door just up here. Don't know if you can see my uh, mouse or not. It might be a little bit small. There's Stuart look in the background, going into the brew shed. And also you can see again over the top, we've got paper in the window so nobody can actually see. But if you look over the top, you can see the bar. Might just be difficult for you to spot it, but you can see the bar inside. And then uh, here it is on the inside. So we've got uh, camera three looking down on the bar from uh, basically our sat in, in here. And then we jump across Oh right, maybe that's the wrong camera then. So, camera three, camera eight. Oh right, okay. Well, we're on camera three, we want camera four, which is the other shot across, so we can get all of the upstairs in, in that shot. I mean, it's, pretty, it's a pretty good view actually. So you can see where we've got like the other seating area, there's a seating area here, the bar running all the way down. Remember this is quite big, each one of these is, uh, this is two meters long, this piece of timber on top here. 22 or something. We're gonna have a back bar along the back there, of course, as well. So let's go for camera six. There we are, this is downstairs. So this is one of the cameras that allows us to look at what's going on in the other room downstairs. Of course, it's a jumbled mess at the moment, but you can see how much space we've got. There's a lovely fireplace in there as well. And these are all the beer pythons waiting to be installed. And we're back outside again. So these arrows aren't really that good, are they? So let's go camera five. Here's the bottom of the stairs as you come down into where the toilets are just here. Obviously no camera in the toilets. And you can see that's the, uh, the door to the beer garden. So talking of the beer garden, there she is. So we've got one view, pretty much captures everything on that shot. Uh, you can see the old AC unit in the corner and the cables for the CCTV that we've just run today. Going in there, this is the back of the kitchen. I'm sat at the top of these stairs here. And uh, finally, a view of the cellar door so we can make sure there's no burglaries going on down there and another perspective for the beer garden so if we can't catch people's faces looking from that side then we should catch them this side and of course all of the doors are on that so let's see who's coming outside then I heard them running downstairs look here we are who's this? Hey, trouble. There we go, look. 
This is exactly what it's to be used for, look, like what are you up to? What are you up to, young lady? Hey, little Miss Dodge. No idea she's on camera, is she? What? <laughs> oh, this is crazy. That was fun, wasn't it? Uh, right, well, that's going to wrap us up, I think, for today. Um, I'm actually going away uh, with Dave, Sarah, Gemma, and all the children to the coast for the weekend, bank holiday weekend. Stuart's going to be here covering the fort, looking after this place for us, as well as serving everybody who comes in. Beautiful, beautiful beer. So I'm just going to sit here and suck this Aspel Suffolk Premier Cider at 7% and then I'm going to go home. So unless we pop any holiday videos up, Wi-Fi depending, I don't think we've got Wi-Fi, then you ain't going to see me till Tuesday at the earliest, guys. So uh, take a break, go and watch some new to homebrew Tom or check out the back catalogue. I've got nearly a thousand videos for you to watch. Uh, and don't forget to hit the subscribe to make sure you catch me when I come back. We'll see you next week. Cheers. Oh, we're back. Before we go, we've not left. Anyway, I'm showered, I'm clean. Oh, I feel so much better. One more thing that I forgot to add, an update on the ESP HD view system. So it turns out that there is a way to reset the box. You turn the system off. You press both the right and left mouse button and hold them, turn the system back on, it does a reset, a factory reset. No mention of that in the manual whatsoever. We took the unit apart, we had a look inside to see if there was a hard reset button, even took the, uh, is it the EPOS battery out? Everything. There was no pop-up to warn us, we changed it and now we've had to reset it. Fortunately, uh, it was only the date and time that we had to change on it. Um, and yes, one more thing. Tomorrow, Tom's coming all day to do some work. I hope to capture some video. That may be what we put up for the vlog on the Tuesday I get back from going away. Unless I can find the time to quickly edit something. I might even film most of the day on my mobile phone and then upload it as we go. It's just difficult to get the settings on there. So if you guys don't mind having no title or description, then uh, we'll put three or four separate videos up tomorrow. Yeah, that sounds probably like the best way to go. And you will see, uh, you'll see me and Tom having a right laugh. Well, I'll be having a laugh. He won't be because he'll be working. He'll be working very hard. We'll see you tomorrow. Seven flows through the holes in your big pen. Like bowls, it's only scary you in step.